Complex numbers can be written in another form besides the a plus b times i format. Learn about the polar form here in Mathematics of Engineering. Complex numbers can be written in two forms. The previous format discussed is the rectangular or the canonical form, a plus b times i, where a is a real number, and bi is considered as imaginary number. The other form of complex numbers is known as the polar or trigonometric form, r times cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta. R is modulus or absolute value, and theta is called argument. How do we relate both rectangular and polar form? Say we draw the rectangular form with real number as the x-axis and the imaginary number as the y-axis. Locate a point with A and B distance as shown. And if a line connects the point to the origin, the distance of this line is r, and the angle that the line makes with the horizontal is marked as theta. As a triangle has been formed, Pythagorean theorem can be used to find the modulus r, which is now taken as the root of a squared plus b squared. r is the absolute value of z. Now with cosine of theta, which is a over r, a can be computed as r cosine of theta. The same thing with sine of theta being b over r. b is then computed as r sine of theta. How to convert a rectangular form into its polar format? Let's discuss this using an example, 3 plus 5i. First is to solve for the modulus, which is taken from the Pythagorean theorem. So r is the root of 3 squared plus 5 squared, which are 9 and 25. So r is the root of 34, which can be approximated as 5.83. Theta is also solved using the inverse tangent of b over a, that is, the inverse tangent of 5 over 3, which results to 1.03, when computing it in radians. Thus, the complex number is the root of 34 times cosine of 1.03 plus i with sine of 1.03. This can also be written as 5.83 times cosine of 1.03 plus i sine of 1.03. Nevertheless, theta can also be computed using degrees, resulting to 59.04. So z is the root of 34 times cosine of 59.04 degrees plus i sine of 59.04 degrees, or 5.83 times cosine of 59.04 degrees plus i sine of 59.04 degrees. Oppositely, a polar form can be converted into its corresponding rectangular format by simply multiplying the terms. Say we have 8.5 times cosine of 2.85 plus i sine of 2.85. A is 8.5 cosine of 2.85 in radians, resulting to negative 8.14. The same thing would be as 8.5 times I sine of 2.85 radians, which results to 2.44 I, so Z is negative 8.14 plus 2.44 I. For the next example, Convert 7.25 cosine of 52.84 degrees plus I sine of 52.84 degrees. Again, A is computed as 7.25 cosine of 52.84 degrees, that is 4.38, and B is 7.25 
times I sine of 52.84 degrees, which is 5.78 I. So the rectangular form of the complex number is 4.38 plus 5.78i. The addition or subtraction of complex numbers in polar form cannot be done directly. The complex numbers are first converted back to their rectangular format before doing the operation. For example, we have to add 8.5 times cosine of 2.85 plus i sine of 2.85 with the complex number 7.25 times cosine of 52.84 degrees plus i sine of 52.84 degrees. Take note that the two complex numbers are in different theta units, one in radians and the other in degrees, but just the same, they are to be converted. The first has taken a as 8.5 cosine of 2.85 or negative 8.14. B is 8.5 times I sine of 2.85 or 2.44I. Because these two are computed in radians, just make sure that your calculator is set in radians mode. The rectangular form of the first complex number is negative 8.14 plus 2.44I. Next to convert is 7.5 cosine of 52.84 degrees plus I sine of 52.84 degrees. A is 7.25 times cosine of 52.84 degrees or 4.38. B is 7.25 times I sine of 52.84 degrees and that is 5.78 I. So the second complex number is 4.38 plus 5.78i. Now add the 2 and come up with negative 3.76 plus 11.22i. This is the answer in rectangular format, and we now only have to convert it in polar form. r is computed as the root of negative 3.76 squared plus 11.22 squared and that is 11.83. Theta is then the inverse tangent of 11.22 over negative 3.76, and that is negative 71.47 degrees. Thus, Z is 11.83 times cosine of negative 71.47 degrees plus I sine of negative 71.47 degrees. In case theta was solved in radians, it has the same formula and the number, but the calculator is set to radians, giving the answer negative 1.25. So the complex number in rectangular form turns out as 11.83 times cosine of negative 1.25 plus I sine of negative 1.25. Multiplication of complex numbers in their polar format is possible, and it is done simply by multiplying the moduli and adding the arguments. For example, we multiply 4.2 cosine of 105 degrees plus I sine of 105 degrees with 3.5 times cosine of 92 degrees plus I sine of 92 degrees. First is to multiply R which are 4.2 and 3.5. Then add the thetas 105 and 92. And the answer is 14.7 cosine of 197 degrees plus I sine of 197 degrees. Another example is set as 1.45 cosine of 0 0.268 plus I sine of 0 0.268 with another complex number 4.22 cosine of 0 0.175 plus I sine of 0 0.175. Without any units of theta, this would imply that theta is in radians. Multiply the R's 1.45 and 4.22, then add the thetas 0 0.268 and 0 0.175. So the resulting Z in polar form is 6.12 cosine of 0 0.443 plus I sine of 0 0.443.
dividing complex numbers in polar form is also possible. The moduli are divided and the arguments are subtracted. The first example is 4.2 cosine of 105 degrees plus I sine of 105 degrees divided by 3.5 cosine of 92 degrees plus I sine of 92 degrees. 4.2 divided by 3.5 is 1.2 and 105 less 92 degrees is 13. So Z is 1.2 times cosine of 13 degrees plus I sine of 13 degrees. Next, 1.45 cosine of 0 0.268 plus I sine of 0 0.268 divided by 4.22 cosine of 0 0.175 plus I sine of 0 0.175. Divide 1.45 by 4.22 and subtract 0 0.175 from 0 0.268. The resulting complex number is 0 0.34 cosine of 0 0.093 plus I sine of 0 0.093. Thank you.